In Dragon Frame 5, we've added a new feature that allows you to control multi-channel light fixtures. Many of the new LED lights now have multiple channels that can control different aspects to the light. In past versions, we've just had single channels that you could assign like this for this light that's uh, just a tungsten light over the set. And if you wanted to have multiple channeled LED control, you could do it. It was really kind of clumsy because you'd have to add each channel and then give them different names for different aspects of the light. But now we've made it much easier by having a collection, a library of light fixtures that use multiple channels. And we're going to show you how to set that up. We have here on our set an Airy L5C, which is a Fresnel style LED light with a lot of really cool features. So I'm bringing my brother in, Diami, who programmed all of this to walk us through the steps to set up a light fixture. Here's Diami. Hi. So um, normally when you add a channel, you do it through this button here. Um, to add a light fixture, we're going to press uh, on the side here and choose from the drop down menu, add fixture. We have a pretty large library of light fixtures. If you can't find your fixture here, contact us and we can try to help you make a definition for it. We can search for a definition, L, 5, C, and there it is. Over here in the middle, it says what modes it supports. And you can step through these different modes. And on the right, it shows you the breakdown of what channels that mode has. It is important to understand that Dragon Frame can't set the mode uh, or the starting channel on your light, just like it doesn't set the starting channel when you use a dimmer pack. So on your fancy LED light, you're going to have to set the mode, the DMX mode, and the starting channel to match what you have it set up for in Dragon Frame. Right, so a lot of these lights have a little panel on them, and you've got to pick the matching mode. Yeah. Okay. So what mode do you want to do here? I wanted to go for 16-bit color correction and hue saturation uh, intensity. I think that's eight. Yeah. So, so we'll have to set that on the light. So we're setting program eight. And then the channel, what channel are we going to start it on? It needs to be four because we're using three for okay. that. So we've picked our mode here and then our start channel is four and it's going to go until channel 15 because it takes 12 channels and add fixture wow so that eats up 12 channels now how many channels does dmx do overall 512 is 512, that 512 right? yeah. okay okay we now have the fixture setting matching the light setting so let's see what kind of controls we have here um the first thing i'm going to do is dim our overhead light and now we'll dim up the airy light and we're getting a somewhat neutral look there i'm going to play with the color temperature here so we'll take this to you know maybe around 32. there's also green and magenta as far as picking a color if you see this color picker symbol here you can click on it and open up a color panel but before I do that, I'm going to set the crossfade all the way to full color so I can really see what I'm doing. I click on this, and now we have this UI for setting either by hue, saturation, intensity, or by pure RGB value. And then you also have uh, tint and color temperature. So this is a great way to, to play with color. You can see I can move through the, the different hues up here and up the saturation. You can be very accurate with this, and it might get you there quicker than just moving the sliders down at the bottom. These fixtures can take up a lot of channels, and they can eat up a lot of space in your UI. So one thing you can do is collapse it here, and now you're left with just an intensity slider. And you'll see that this value, when you open this up, matches the main dimmer value. We've also added a little hide channel button here so that if during programming you realize that you want to see color temperature and the main intensity dimmer, but you don't want to see these others, you can go ahead and hit the hide button there and then hit this overall hide here. So now you've got just the main sliders you need. You can still collapse it, open it up. And of course, if you want to get back to those others, you can do that. So that's the basic setup in DMX for lighting fixtures. Thanks for watching.